Hey YouTube, how are you? Hope you're well, guys and girls. This is the boss Ella, and today I wanted to um, take my Halley wig and do something different to it. Uh, this is my Halley wig 1B that I cut. I have her on my mannequin with a rubber band in the top because y'all know the top is pretty long. Um, back in the day, we used to dye our hair with peroxide. We used to take peroxide, put it in a spray bottle, spray our hair, go outside into the sun, and it would lighten our hair. And I'm kind of lazy today. I really don't want to go to the store to get any developer or anything like that. So I'm going to um, take my peroxide method along with uh, something that I saw online. I think her name was uh, Love for Ghana. Um, I'm not sure. I'll put a link below, but she dyed a wig with using peroxide and I don't suggest peroxide because peroxide has the tendency to be a little harsh on your hair especially if you use it too much and you don't know what you're doing but she used baking soda peroxide and she used honey and I'm not going to use any honey I'm just going to use these two products uh, she also used uh, Reynolds wrap and some people had used a plastic shower cap but um I am going to, after I have lightened it, if it lightens, use this moisture, this one and only Argon Oil Moisture Repair Shampoo. And I don't have a lot of this restorative mask, but I'm going to mix the restorative mask with this uh, Organics Shea Butter Conditioner. And that's what I'm going to do. So we are going to see what happens. Let me go ahead and get started with mixing this and I will be Okay, right back. so in the video, she um, didn't really have specifics on how to measure um, the baking soda, but I'm just gonna put what I like in the bowl to my consistency. And then I'm going to put a little peroxide in it. And mix it up and put it on the hair. Don't have my brush, but I'm just gonna mix it with a comb. I think she put honey in hers to make it like a thicker mixture. Alright, so I'm going to um, apply this and then put the foil and the plastic bag on and I actually might set it in the window because I know back in the day the heat and the sun would really make my hair a lighter color and I don't know if it's going to damage this Brazilian hair or not but um, we're going to give it a test so y'all hold tight. I'll be right, right back. You know, I found a, a cool way of doing this. I put it in a little plate and I have saturated I got the bottom of it really, really wet. Now I'm gonna put the uh, foil okay, on. Okay, YouTube, so it has been 30 minutes, and I actually set this outside, and we are going to see if it is any lighter. It's not looking any lighter to me. Let's see. Um, actually doesn't look any lighter. So I'm going to rinse this out and we shall see if it's any lighter. Okay? Alright, y'all. Right so Miss Hallie 1B has been washed and conditioned. And I did the natural hair color on her. The lightening. And what I have to say. Um I don't think she's any lighter. And if she is, it's just like not noticeable. So I'm gonna let her air dry and style her back to see if she bounces back after that harsh peroxide. Okay, y'all. Okay. So um, this is the re results of the peroxide um, supposedly highlighting the hair. Uh, actually, in the sun, y'all can't really see it here, but in the sun, there are some lighter um, strands of hair, like the lighter strands of hair are a kind of 
I guess a goldeny color, but nothing real noticeable. I mean, it looks more brown now than it did black. So I guess the peroxide wasn't a fail and it actually works. It just didn't work um, on a large scale, but this is the results and yeah, this is it. All right. Well, thank y'all for watching. Bye.